What up, guys? It's Matt, your boy from RamseyVoice.com, and I am going to teach you how to sing any song. And I am so excited about shooting this video because this is something that so many people talk about, but it's very, very difficult to understand exactly how to learn to sing a song better step by step. Here's what I mean by that. Most people will start off by singing a song like this. Oh, won't you stay with me? Oh, man, it's been an hour. Well, I'll come back to it tomorrow. Oh, won't you stay with me? Uh, all right, that's another hour. It must be getting better. Yes, it's true. Most beginning singers will sing a song over and over and over again, and even if they still miss the notes, they are just convincing themselves that it's getting better just by practicing it more and more and more. But that's not true. You actually have to break songs down into their little elements and get each part better in order to really see the results and learn how to sing songs better. Now, you're gonna get three huge things out of our lesson today. Number one, you're gonna learn the big mistake that most singers make when they're first starting off and singing a song. Number two, you're gonna learn why are songs so much harder to sing than vocal exercises? And number three, you're gonna learn my patented three-step process to learn to sing any song. You ready? Now, before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure that you smash that like button, comment with the next kind of video that you wanna see me do, and subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. Or if you want to improve your singing voice and especially learn to sing fantastic songs, I want you to check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice. Included in that are 10 in-depth song tutorials so that you can actually put into practice what you learn. So go ahead and just click the link to get on the wait list. Now, I already mentioned earlier that most beginning singers make the mistake of just singing a song over and over and over again in the hopes that somehow it's magically going to get better. But that's like just doing an exercise with the wrong form every day and just thinking that that's going to somehow make you better. At a certain point, it might. However, everybody reaches a certain point where they just can't lift any more of the weight because they haven't actually perfected the form. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Now, I think it's important to note that singing songs is actually the entire point of vocal training, you know? What are all the geeky good for? if you can't learn to sing songs better. However, you'll notice that there's a big difference between being able to sing exercises really well and being able to sing songs really well. So what actually makes the difference there? Well, with exercises, with vocal exercises specifically, we're keeping something constant. Just like the example that I just gave with the gi, I'm keeping a vowel and a consonant the same. Gi, with a G consonant and an E vowel is staying the same while I change the pitch. You'll also notice that I kept the dynamic or the volume that I'm singing at exactly the same. The only thing that was changing was the pitch. And yes, in songs, the pitch definitely changes. It's called melody. But in addition to the melody changing, we also have to change our vowels. We have to change consonants because we have to sing words. And words change all the time. And every time you change to a different word, it's kind of like you're rolling the vocal dice about what that's actually going to change in your own singing voice. So what is your solution to actually being able to learn to sing songs better? Well, you know, with a football game, a coach doesn't just send his players out there and say, good luck guys, all your training has prepared you for this, just go out there and do your thing. No, he actually charts out the plays that his players are going to make. And you need to look at songs in exactly the same way. So today, I'm going to show you three different examples of songs, and we're going to practice how to improve singing each one of them. So when you're looking at a new song to sing, I want you to look out for these three things. I want you to look out for the words that are being sung. I want you to look at the melody that's being sung. And I want you to look at the duration of how long you're supposed to hold those words. Because the primary difference between speech and singing is how long you hold something. Theoretically, everything that I'm saying right now could be transposed into musical form. But if I'm not holding any of these notes, 
then it doesn't sound very musical. But if all of a sudden I hold a note, it sounds like I'm singing. So duration is very, very important. Now I told you earlier that I was going to show you my fantastic three-step method to gain total vocal control over a song. So you ready for it? Okay, here it is. Step number one, you need to find a great vocal exercise that works well for your voice. I've got tons of different videos with lots of different vocal exercises out there. But for instance, just for today, I'm going to use the example of gee. Let's say that gee, gee, gee is an exercise that works really, really well for your voice. So you do an exercise like a gee, 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 gee. Great. Step two, you want to sing that exercise on the melody of the song that you're trying to sing. So if I'm trying to sing, stay with me, I sing it on the melody of the song. And the third and final step is that I'm going to go back to the lyrics, but keep the exact same feeling that the exercise gave me. So rather than, oh, won't you stay? And just pushing up to it, instead I am, Oh, won't you stay with me? Because I've got the same feeling as what I just did in, in the vocal exercise. Now, I recommended earlier that you actually look at the parts of music that you're going to sing. And don't worry if you can't read music. It's just sometimes good, even if you can't read music, to be able to see the way that the melody goes. Is it going down? Is it going up? Also in the sheet music, you'll find the words, which is another thing that I recommended that you look at. And finally, if you can read rhythm, you'll actually be able to see how long the duration of each note is. But even if you can't read rhythm, most of the time you'll be able to tell just by looking at it how long you're going to hold something. So we'll just get started off with the example of the song, The Scientist by Coldplay. So he starts off in the chorus with that. Nobody said it was easy. So it starts on an F, and you'll be able to see that on your sheet music. Now, because you're actually starting off with this, and let's say that that's a really, really hard note for you to sing right now, then nobody said it was easy. It just keeps cracking, no matter what you do. Well, let's go back to our three-step process. Number one, do a great vocal exercise. So hopefully by this point, you've done your gee-gee-gee-gee-gee-gee-gees, and your gee-gee-gee-gee-gee-gee-gee-gee-gees, and your by the way, the starting top pitch on each one of those scales that I just played was the same note as in the song. So I need to sing an F, so I'm going to practice a vocal exercise onto an F. Moving on to the second step in our process, we need to sing the vocal exercise on the song melody. So I'm not worried about singing lyrics yet. Right now, I'm just going to sing geese. So in this case, I can just sing that. And most likely, all of a sudden, you're going to go from to being able to sing that in a mixed voice, which brings us to our third step. And our third step, you're going to go back to the lyrics, but keep the same feeling that you got in the vocal exercise. So if all goes well, you should end up with Nobody said it was easy. Well, dude, screw that. I just want to sing songs. I don't want to do a bunch of weird vocal exercises. I totally understand. And I know that I'm making that look really easy. But the truth is that vocal exercises are designed to help you improve and be able to accomplish something with your voice that you're not able to do right now. So even though you want to sing songs, just stay patient, keep with the vocal exercise first, and then go back to the song lyrics. Good, let's look at another example. In the next example, I alluded to this earlier, we're gonna look at Stay With Me by Sam Smith. So we've got a vocal melody, starts on the C4, middle C. Oh, won't you stay with me? Now, a lot of people, again, are gonna have a hard time with this because they're gonna be singing that, oh, won't you stay with me? And their voice is going to crack. But let's do it on a vocal exercise. Go back to your three-step process. Find it on a great vocal exercise. So that means that we actually need to vocalize up to an A because an A4 is the highest note in the song. So we'll do like a We can also sing an octave and a half scale starting in the key of D, which puts our highest note on an A. So So make sure that you complete step one first. 
Next, we'll sing the vocal exercise on the melody of the song. So we have this. So what we'll do is a and all of a sudden my voice holds together because I've given it an exercise that it really, really likes. In the third and final step here, you're going to go back to the lyrics, but keep the exact same feeling like you just did in the vocal exercise. So it's going to turn into that. Oh, won't you stay with me? Great job. In our final example today, we're gonna do one for the ladies. You could probably, the ladies could probably do the Sam Smith one too, which is why I chose that one. But this song is gonna go even a little bit higher. This is Make You Feel My Love, as performed by Adele, originally written by Bob Dylan. Now in the chorus, Adele has this beautiful, I know you haven't made your mind up yet. So she's starting from a B flat four up there. So let's say that you're having a hard time. I know you mind up yet. It happens all the time. My singers struggle with that line all the time. And don't feel bad if you're struggling with that right now too. Let's just do it on a great vocal exercise. So hopefully you've done your geese up to a B flat. So we could do a or we could also sing an octave and a half scale in the key of E flat, which would put our high note on a B flat. So like a whichever one is working best for you. Step two, we're going to apply that exercise to the song melody. So we have this and notice how my voice held together. It wasn't it was now, our final step in this process is to just go back to the lyrics and keep the same feeling that we got with the gee. So then, I know you haven't made your mind up yet. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, that gee works really well for you, but it doesn't work for me. Yes, and that may be totally true. The honest truth is that you need to find a vocal exercise that works really, really well for you. We call this a home base exercise. It could be a mum, could be a gee, could be a na, could be a nay. The best thing to do is to experiment with this with lots of different vocal exercises until you find one that works really, really well for you no matter what circumstances. Guys, I am so excited for you. Now that you understand this process, how to break down any song, you are not going to be held in that same old trap of singing a song a thousand times and after a thousand times it hasn't gotten any better. You are actually going to learn how to improve each of the parts of the song that you want to sing. Now, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure that you smash that like button, comment with the next kind of video that you wanna see me do, and subscribe or turn on notifications for this channel. Or if you want to improve your singing voice and especially learn to sing some amazing songs, just get on the wait list for Master Your Voice right now at the links in the description.